<laughs> Good evening, beautiful people. You're welcome to Afia TV Official, where we unravel all the hottest social media trends, all the interesting happenings on social media. Here on Afia TV, I am thrilled to be your host for today and I have a lot that we have to talk about. There's so much, so much, so much to talk about. So sit tight, grab a popcorn and let's just, we'll be right back. My name is Divine Onoha, your queen of great conversations. And of course, like I said, I am thrilled to be on set today to give you, to dish out all the hottest trends that we have here. But I'm not alone. I have here with me the beautiful, the amazing entrepreneur, the, the very talented graphics designer <laughs> that everybody wants to work with. And I'm going to tell you one person who wants to work with you. But before then, joining us this evening is... Juliet Ikwebu. Good thank evening. You. Good evening, everybody. How are you Good doing? Evening, I'm doing very well. Thank you, you for having me. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you. What's thank your you skincare so routine? <laughs> What do you do? How do you do this? Moisturize, Please. sunscreen, don't forget. Don't okay. forget to moisturize, moisturize sunscreen. sunscreen. Okay, cleans, cleans, cleans first, moisturize, and then sunscreen. Nice. Right. You're the first person that is not telling me I drink water and mind my business. No. <laughs> Nice, nice. I'm learning. So, like I said, everybody wants to work with you. And um, I don't know if he's watching, but he just told me off camera that he wants to work with you. Oh, really? Yes. So, yes. <laughs> Afia has secured you a job. Wow. So you have to pay tight <laughs> right okay. after this. Okay, okay. Okay, so we're going to be getting into the hottest trends on social media. And yesterday, we were we talked about a lot, but there wasn't enough time, so we couldn't talk about this particular trending story. It's a tweet on Twitter from the Honorable, Honorable Amara Chiku. Now, she made a post. She's into, she's a judge, of course, so she okay. judges issues and she intervenes with um, marital issues and a lot of stuff. So this particular one, it's an issue she's been on for a while now. We didn't see the beginning. We okay. didn't see where the whole okay. thing started. We only saw when the violence started. <laughs> so she said, let's, let's open it here. So, this is the guy she's working with. We don't know his name because she refused to tag him. So, uh, she got this text from him and he said, Honorable, good afternoon, ma. Please, I have been a long-time follower. Can you respect the privacy of my family? We will resolve our issues amicably. And please, help me with your account details. Let me appreciate your work on this app with 2 million naira. Please don't scatter my family. I love my wife and my kids. They have agreed to remove the pregnancies and I will settle them to go and start life. Please help me. And then she responded, is your wife aware you are sleeping with her two younger sisters? Or I should tag you and her? So this particular, it, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's for a real. two younger sisters. A man is sleeping with his wife's two younger sisters. In fact, he's sleeping with three sisters. <laughs> yes. Because the wife is the wife, yes. And it has caused a lot of buzz on social media. Some people are saying she shouldn't have exposed this. She shouldn't have said this. I personally see nothing wrong with it, considering the fact that she didn't tag him. She didn't really tag him. I don't know if she will finally tag him. But a lot of people are saying she has broken the ethics of her profession. She's not supposed to um, reveal that kind of sensitive information mm -hmm. and all of that. Some other people are saying it's good. It's good. She should even call the person's name because the wife needs to know what the husband is doing. But let me know your take on it. First of all, who is to blame? <laughs> who is to blame in a situation where the man is cheating on his wife with the two younger sisters? Because a lot of people have dragged the man. A lot of people too are saying, no, the girls should be the ones to be dragged. Who should be dragged? I don't think we're in, when we're talking about cheating, if... Okay, sometimes the girls actually play a more... A, a, like, they play a higher role. But I feel like the men, actually... There are the more reasons why they cheat because nobody is dragging you to my bedroom. Nobody is telling you to do this. Nobody is asking you to take my number. But you are there and you, you want to actually take it. Mm -hmm. You are the person that is coming out and asking me if yes, if I can do this, if I can have this, if we can. You know, I don't know if I've experienced a married man before, but I have experienced quite a few. Like, yes, I have. I've experienced them. And they'll tell you, my wife is not the problem. At all. It's she knows regular. her place. I know your place. Yes. So... That's like a regular anthem for them. So I don't know if I don't know if the girl should be dragged. I don't know how it came about. I don't know what's brought about the whole cheating and meeting them. But we don't even have to know what brought about. The but issue the is that cheating is that, has yes, happened. The main thing is that the man has done it. And for me, I feel like it's the man that should be like... Should receive the yes, higher percentage of Yes, blame. he should actually. Because if he gets his 
pants tight, nothing will happen. Yeah, I, I agree with that opinion because I feel like the man is the one who made a covenant with his wife. The man is the one who walked down the aisle with his wife, yes. who promised heaven and earth, who promised faithfulness. Do you understand? So he should be responsible for his family. He should be responsible for his words, everything he has said yes, and he keep should. to it. However, looking at it the other way, your blood sister. Your blood sister. Two, not one. Both are pregnant. And planning to remove the pregnancy. I mean, I, I don't... Personally, I think I'm going to give both of them equal blames. Yes, Seriously, 50-50. Because if nothing else... I know that a lot of times when they talk about friends, a lot of women think friends... It's disappointing when a friend cheats with your with your boyfriend or your spouse. And those times you see people on social media say, no, blame the man, blame the man. But when we talk about sisters... Sisters. But then, let's now look at what the lawyer did. Would you say she did the right thing, revealing this online or not? Actually, in, that, in this case, I actually support those that said that um, she went against her ethics and whatever rule, whatever rule they are, they are, whatever they are guided with in their law firm. I feel like she can actually drag the man like she can meet him in person, like just, and settle it. Yes, okay. personally, off but off social media, I don't feel like it's it should be on like it should be online, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. No, I feel like everything you want to settle, don't bring it. Like, okay, you can maybe if you're not in that kind of field, that kind of professional field, if you can actually bring it out. But you know, talking about professional field, that's something I say. I think law it's a very serious profession. Yeah, I feel like it is. So. I don't think I think I don't know what is at stake for her, but for her to bring it out here, maybe there's nothing really at stake. Maybe but there's I feel like yeah, it shouldn't be out there. It shouldn't be out there. To yeah. protect whose image? To protect her, actually. I don't know what okay, penalty they should they will okay, be. Let's for assume what she's doing. let's assume that she knows she nothing is at stake for her because it's her profession. She should know what is right and what isn't. Mm. So if she brings it out there and let's assume she's out of the equation, you know, who's image <laughs> should she be saving that of the woman or that of the man i don't let let the okay. Just, it's, it's just totally be about her. Yes. okay shouldn't just be out yes. there let's take a look at there. what the keypad warriors have to say about this so the first comment i have here is no you don't love your wife and kids that's in response to what he yes. said said he loves his wife and kids and the next yes is somehow i am forced to wonder why it seems like all the blame is on the husband excuse me are the two sisters involved not adults didn't they see didn't they consent even i don't feel the betrayal is more from sister to sister than from husband to wife because these are people you grew up with hmm. There's a point. Now I'm convinced that most people don't know the meaning of love. You love your wife and kids, yet you went ahead to have you went ahead to have sexual affairs with her sisters and also got them pregnant. Bribe lawyer or not, remove pregnancy <laughs> or not. Fact remains that okay, this marriage don't scatter already. It might take one or two years. What's hidden must always come to light. I totally agree. This one says. The two sisters are the real weapon fashioned against her, against their sis, married to that son of Adam Okai, who does that. The sisters are the most useless on the planet Earth and all other planets combined. What the hell is this? And then this one says, so you will have peace after you've scattered his family. I be, or God lawyer respect his privacy. It's not the judge that is scattering your family. You single-handedly did this with your indiscretion and lack of self-control. You do not know the meaning of love. Yeah, I think my final thought on this is the fact that that marriage is going to scatter. What's your final thought? <laughs> it actually is because I feel like she brought it out already. So mm. it's not too long before people start putting two and two and then knowing who is involved and what and what not. I feel like even if they close, even if they hide everything, the marriage will still scatter because it won't be long before it he does it light. again. He yes. will do it and again. It come to light. That pregnancy, some people, they don't like to hide pregnancy. If once pregnancy is involved. Mm -hmm. But the real question is why, why, would, uh, why would the sisters agree to that actually? 
I mean, it is so, so disappointing. It's very disappointing. Married people, please stop discouraging single people. That's just what I have to say. Stop <laughs> discouraging us that want to marry. We still want please. to be out there. <laughs> I mean, okay, so that's what we can take on this particular story. We're still going to look out to see what happens next, to see if she's eventually going to tag him and his wife, to see if anything, you know, explodes from here. That's why we're here. We'll be bringing you all the gist. But we'll be getting right into our next story after this very short break stay tuned don't go anywhere you're welcome back to the show and we've been talking about all the hottest tweets you know today we just finished talking about a man that slept with his two you know his wife's two younger sisters and that is terrible that is very terrible i'm still here with the amazing juliet and she's going to be giving us hot takes dropping hot two cents on the next issue. And the next is concerning uh, Bibi Niger graduate Queen, the queen that has been making all the ways on social media yes. with her marriage to David and the whole saga with Lord Lamba. First of all, what do you make of that whole saga? What, what's, your, what's, what's your take on what is happening? I'm sure you followed all the trends from the moment she announced her wedding and Lamba came and posted the girl's picture to all the dragons that have happened so far. Well, I, I don't really think I've seen the whole story, but I know that she got married recently. That's Queen got married yes, recently. Yes. And she has a child, a daughter for, with Lamba. With Lamba, yeah. And she gets him married i don't know if somehow it triggered him or something it triggered him to want to post because i thought that he posted the daughter after like for a very long after a very long time he finally posted the daughter which he did not do normally which mm. he did not do then mm. even when it was the, the child's birthday i think yeah so i feel like all this dragging and all of this doesn't it doesn't like it shouldn't be now it shouldn't be happening right now why if he wanted her, he wanted to be with. If he wanted to be with Queen, then he should have just tried to rekindle their relationship long then, before now. Yes, right? and try to make things right, be with them more. I don't know what their issue was, but I feel like he can actually re the spark, reignite the spark there. Reignite this is late too. Yes, I know it's yeah, late now, but like he can, <laughs> it's other than, than either, uh, other than dragging her on social media. I feel like if he wanted closure, he should have gotten closer to her. Anyways, it, it looks like he's not actually fighting for any recognition of the whole relationship. What he's now fighting for is the child. He doesn't want another man to father his child. But he wants another woman to father the child when Queen is alive. <laughs> so there's been a whole lot. We've been talking about it almost every day on the show. And just yesterday we looked at their wedding. They did a wedding where King David now was making comments. He was appreciating the people who came and took some time to appreciate his wife. Now, what I, I think he was trying to to say how he accepts Queen despite the fact that she is married and she had a child. And then he now said that when he was trying to describe his relationship with the baby girl, he said they relate well, they've bonded so well. As a matter of fact, she called him Dada. Yes, first. I saw and that. that was another whole issue. Yeah. A lot of people, that was another whole issue. A lot of people were saying, um, yeah, he will make a very good father for him to have that level of acceptance of the child. As other people are saying, that piece of information is totally unnecessary. What do you think? The information of him talking yes, of putting yeah, it out there that the yes, child that called the child him dada. dada. Yes, I feel like it's actually on there. Right. Right. Yes, he shouldn't just have and he can it trigger out there. violence. Yes, he can trigger. I feel violence. like he should have been a bigger person. Just keep quiet and just be the bigger person. Mm. Watch from the side. Anyways, my guest yesterday also thinks that he should have been quiet. But now, because a lot keeps happening on social media, after that post happened, after all the wedding happened. Popular Nigerian actress Uche Elendu came online now on her own platform and said she has a question to ask people, public opinion. Let's look at this. She needs public opinion. As a parent, would you support or allow your son, who is young, rich, educated, never married, no child, to marry a single mother who is a divorcee with one or more kids? Be sincere with your response, please. Now, before we look at the comments, I'd like to know your answer to this. Will you allow your child your child that is a man that is rich, that is, you know, classy, has not done anything, have not married before, he have money, you know, standard husband material to marry uh, a divorcee with a child. First of all, I feel like, okay, my child, my son, Your whoever son, yes. he is in the future, yes. should be an adult then to be able to make that decision of settling down. Okay. So definitely it is up to him. Like, personally, as I am now, 
if I had a child and somebody wants to get married to me, okay, let's say my brother has a has he wants to get married to someone. I'd actually have no problem. No problem. Actually, it. have no problem. Are you sure? sure? Yes, I'm very sure that very I have sure? no problem. <laughs> yes, because I wanted to accept. What if I'm in that I'm in that position? What if I was in that position? What if it happened to me? Mm. And then, but yes, definitely I have no position. So far as you love the person, mm. you know that this is what is involved and you're ready to spend forever with them. Definitely, you can go on with it. Anyways, I totally agree with you because when I saw the post at first, I was like, why is this a conversation? Really? Actually, why is this a question? Because I do not know that single parents don't deserve love. Who. I don't know. I never Thank heard of you. that before. That single parents don't deserve to be loved. That single parents don't deserve a second chance. I don't care what your situation was, whether you got married and got divorced at some point, or whether you, you know, kind of had a child out of wedlock. I don't care what the situation is. I believe everybody deserves love. But it's unfortunate that we have a lot of people who don't think so. We'll open the comment section. You blow. Let's blow your mind. <laughs> no, some people were on the side of, um, some people were on the positive side saying no there's nothing wrong with it and there are other people who said no it cannot happen let's look at it so yeah this is from brown skin fairy she said what's the point of this unnecessary question very unnecessary, unnecessary. and this is from tonya graham when they make this baby mama to be like disease i mean we person saw to impregnate these ladies good question good question and then this one says who tell you who tell you my mother has a say? Who told you my mother has a say in my love life? If I fall in love with a single mother, I will marry her. Simple and fact. That's exactly what I was saying. And this one says, any son who has to wait for me to allow him marry who he wants is not man enough to be married. Okay, that's a strong mother speaking. And then this one here says, they will prefer to marry men with... Abortions. Oh my God. Ten abortions than marry a single mother. Hypocrisy they smell. <laughs> And here, Eve so says, but most women marry men with four kids or more, and it's not an issue. Stop the stigma. Actually, you. Actually, yeah, if you look this at is another uh, yeah, point. Another angle. Yeah. What is the big deal? My elder brother married a baby mama, and we all treat the child like our brother's child. I buy her Xmas clothes. And here, it says, Unagosu make this man feel he's doing Queen a favor by marrying her. Stop stigmatizing single mothers. You people gradually encouraging this. But it's well, Sha. I will never support my son or brother to settle for that. If you know who you open leg for, go meet him. And it's quite amazing it's coming from a lady. A lady. So please, oh, I think one of the comments here said it here. Stop stigmatizing single mothers. Stop stigmatizing single fathers. What will be your final words for this for these people, especially for that last comment? <laughs> Coming from a lady, it's just like people saying, people like females preaching, women supporting women. This just went down to the mud. Hmm. Because why would you as a woman be saying this? Like, just God forbid this happens to her or let's say she experienced this somehow in her life. She will not be having this opinion about whoever. Okay, she's saying go meet them. Who should? What if the person is dead? What, what if the person it was doesn't rape? want? What if it was? Like, I mean, there are so many things. There are, there are so many things to bear from what she just said. It's actually not right and unacceptable by me. Honestly, it's terrible. Nigerians, please let's not add to our economic challenges. <laughs> let's not add to the heat wave. Let's not add to the network, the undersea cable cuts that were so free. Let's not, please, let's not add to inflation. Can we just show love to each other? Can we just be nicer and that's kinder? Simple. I think that solves the whole issue. We'll be taking our tweet for the day right now. And it's a very interesting tweet. I don't know why social media is full of relationship <laughs> issues this period. But let's look at what Oga has to say. He's a married man and he has something to say about his wife and her new job that she has just acquired. Let's look at it. My wife just got a job after three years and the salary is way higher than mine and it even comes with an official car while I don't have a car. I want to tell her not to accept the job because I can't allow my wife to have money than me. Is it right? The first comment is here. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but let me hear from you now. What's your take about, um, on, on, about marriage where the woman is making more money than the man? Do you feel comfortable with that? I would feel comfortable with that, but I feel like it depends on their relationship. It depends on both partners because some of them, they don't really have that much understanding. And when the woman starts to earn more, she wants to 
always be at the top and then start to belittle the man. I feel like that's where he's coming from. But in my, if I am to judge this, I will not, I will not quit my job because you feel like I'm going to be intimidating you. Okay, that's on. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Because he, why? Why would you ask me to? What if it's the job I've been dreaming about? What if it's my dream job? You want me to just say no? No, it's not going to happen. I mean, it can favor us both. Both. I mean. Our relationship, our relationship. Okay, yes, like I said, going to it entirely depends on relationship understanding. Okay. If we have that understanding and relationship, definitely we can actually pull through anything. And even maybe as you accept me, as you accept the job for me, you can actually get something bigger. Mm. Something can just have to favor you. The grace and can click, share. You know? Yes. So yes, I can. I will actually say I will like. If he's asking me, if my husband is asking me not to take this job, oh, we are going to fight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're well, going to fight. Ask you now, since we've all accepted, thankfully it was a man that made this first comment here. He said, don't be stupid. And I think he's telling every of you, every one of you watching this that have this mindset. Don't be what? Stupid. But then, thankfully it's, a, it's coming from a man. But I want to ask you, since we're agreeing that this is a very wrong perception, this is a wrong I am um, um, thought. This is a wrong thought pattern. Since we're accepting that, what do you think is the cause of this thing? What are we going to attribute this kind of mindset to? You mentioned one, the fact that he, he thinks the woman might start to intimidate him. There's also other, there are also people who think the man is simply insecure. But what, which of these things do you think makes more sense to be called the reason why people are doing this? I feel like he's just going to feel intimidated, which is why he brought this like out. And probably maybe he's, he's second-guessing what he feels. That's why he's bringing it out. Because... Most people, I feel like most marriages, they thrive better when the man is making the bigger box, the bigger money, and he's the one sustaining the family. That's why I feel. But maybe he, he, he actually has seen this. Maybe he has seen both scenarios play out. And then he's feeling like maybe once he starts, once the wife starts getting more money than him, it's going to just affect him. He's going to be belittled. Everything is just going to go bad for him. Mm. And I feel like so, that's but do you think from. With that, don't you think he's insecure then? Actually, it actually boils down to insecurity. insecurity. Yes, because if he was that, if he felt if he felt differently, this would not be a problem. This would not be a case. Mm. Anyways, me, I, I think that people who would spouses that would have this kind of concern, I think first they don't even know who they married. Honestly, because I, I want to think, I want to believe that from the time you're dating, you already know this person's tendencies. I know you cannot know every single thing, yes. but unless this woman has displayed attributes that showed you that ah, if this woman has money, she will suppress <laughs> me. Which I think if you had seen it, you shouldn't have gone ahead to marry the person. Who, but, you know, you went ahead to marry this person. You should know. When people were saying for better, for worse, what were you thinking? <laughs> you can even fall sick, apart from job now, you can even fall sick and, not, and, and stop working. Do you understand? You should have had foresight. You know, this kind of woman, will she stay? Will she not stay? Is she a kind person? Is she not a kind person? But that's the way I feel. But even when people see that kind of thing, like, you, you, you know, actually, people see that a, a man can actually be a woman beater and they still proceed with the marriage. Still, <laughs> that's basically yeah, what I think. What if honestly, he saw, even if he saw this, maybe he wouldn't have I've actually ever thought that this kind of thing would happen. Yeah. So many things they'll be providing forever. Yes. Yes. Ca tables can turn. That's why they keep saying tables marry a turn. kind person. <laughs> marry your best friend. Marry a kind person because <laughs> at the end of the day, whether she makes money or not, true character is true character. Do you understand? I don't feel much... Well, let me not say what I, I've said enough to say enough. <laughs> so please, you guys should do do things the way it will favor you. But I feel like, um, I mean, bringing down the, fa the family's finance from whatever it is the woman is earning to the peanut you're earning simply because you don't feel so good. It's very, very bad. Economy is not good. So please... This mindset, people should change. Change. And ensure that you join us tomorrow. Ensure you join us next tomorrow. Ensure you join us every working day. Because we're going to be here same time, same station. Giving you all the hottest trends on the internet. Thank you so much, Juliet, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So, stay tuned. Stay with us. Our next show is The Instant Eye coming up by 7 p.m. Don't go any where. My name is Divine Onoha, your queen of great conversations, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.